I want money. And why? Well, it's all because of a pet skin. You see, lately I've been thinking about what happens if you put a golden dragon skin on a golden dragon egg. Will it work? Will it just not let you? Or my personal favorite guess, maybe there's a secret skin that I just don't know about. But in order to get that, we need money. And so I was thinking, why don't I document all of my grinding for you guys to watch? And I'm not going to be mining glass for 30 hours straight. I want to play this game and see how long it takes to get one bill by just doing what I want to do. This story starts almost a month ago, when finally after months and months of on and off grinding, I managed to get a level 200 golden dragon. We are so close guys, 99.8%. I've just been doing ghosts to get the last few levels. I've been saving up some melon minions for derby, but yes, finally, level 200 golden dragon. Finally, I can put like a pet item on it. That's not an XP boost. I just did a bunch of Diana, and so I think we're gonna put a dwarf turtle summit on it, but I also wanna test the antique remedies damage. These two, besides a Minnow's Relic, are really the only good pet items for a G-Drag. With Shelmet and a Chimera 5 Daedalus Axe, we seem to be doing around 700,000 damage. Now, with the Antique Remedies, we are doing 765,000 damage around. Not bad, but I think I'm going to stick with a Shelmet. Because the current mayor was Diana, I eventually settled on a Minos Relic. It would be expensive, but I would get a lot more magic find, which would be really helpful for the mythological event. 64 mil for basically 7 magic find. Maybe though this will come in clutch for Diana event, maybe I'll get some good drops hopefully, so I'm not poor. And that is some juicy magic find right there. Now, if I was going to be honest, I just done 15 hours of Diana. I really did not want to do any more, but I decided to do 30 minutes of Diana, and I got pretty lucky. Um, I just got a Minos Relic. <laughs> what? If you look at my screen, I literally have 300 burrows, 23 Minos Champions, and a Minos Relic. Oh my god. Inquisitor, guys! I'm in a solo lobby, so uh, nobody's going to be loot sharing, but maybe I can get a Chimera, please. By the way, guys, before I show you what I got, thanks to you, we are so close to YouTube rank but we still need some subscribers. So please just tap one button, the subscribe button, because I put a ton of work into these videos. Anyways, back to the video. Swap to our magic find setup. If I get nothing, this is literally a scam. Bruh, not even like any drop. Oh my God, a Daedalus stick. Okay, uh, this is literally like five minutes in between the Minos Relic. Scroll down a bit and now I have a Daedalus stick. And the funny thing is, my luck didn't even stop there. Or should I say, my luck didn't even begin there. Because right before that, I was just doing some farming. It's pretty boring, but because I just bought a max setup, I decided to do some farming, and this is what else I dropped. What? Another overgrown grass? Bruh, 97 mil. I guess we're instantly selling that. GG. Turns out, that day I was extremely lucky. From this background, you might be able to see where I'm going with this, but yeah. I was doing some Enderman Slayer and this happened. I said I wouldn't react, but guys, another Judgment Core though. Right there, 311 magic find. It's because of Aatrox, but this is so beautiful. Okay guys, this might seem weird for me to be doing, but I'm currently doing a spooky festival. This is because of like the two or one and a half skyblock levels it'll give if I get the maximum amount of points. But I gotta go soon, so this is gonna be cutting it really close. Okay, looks like we got a good amount of points and finally level 300. So we got two skyblock levels from that. And apparently we're really close to level 301. There we go, skyblock level 301. Dang, we gained like three levels in one day. Don't ask why I'm in the dark auction, I just want to do something with my money. I might actually buy this eccentric painting bundle. I have no use for it since I already have the seal of the family, but if it's a good flip, I'll do it. Okay, I just did 200 mil. Hopefully we'll get it. 238 mil? This should be enough. Lowest bin is 250 mil, so I'll profit 12 mil. Okay, there we go. Okay, I know prices can change a lot, and there's a big gap between buy and sell order. But that's 253 mil right there. Decent flip. Okay, so we're gonna sell our stuff, because I want to go grind, so... 530 mil. 20 mil, 69 mil, and this is an investment. Sheesh, 530 mil core. Then we list this for 68.9 mil. Bizarre this, 20 mil. 
And I still have some stuff here, but I do not want to sell it yet. Okay, nice. The Judgment Core sold already. Such a juicy message. 1.2 billion coin purse, and that's not even like all of my money. Now we need to find a golden dragon spot. So that's our message. And then we're just gonna spam it. So, apparently, there's a G-Drag lobby somewhere here. I hear it too, you can hear it. Listen. Oh, it's here and there's one egg left. Yo, clutch. He's a very nice person, he's given it to me for free. We're gonna buy one. A Jade, which is 15 mil. Pretty expensive, sadly. Amber, that was only 12 mil. Topaz for 16 mil. Sapphire for 16 mil. Amethyst for 13 mil. And I think we need Ruby for 11 mil. That was pretty expensive because there was a bug or something with compactors. Jeez, 77 mil. Okay. Golden Jack. Oh, 50 enchanted gold blocks, right. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, never mind. There we go. Something I want to test. We have a golden dragon right here. What happens if we put an Anubis golden dragon skin on it? Which is 99 mil, but whatever. What actually happens? So, let's see. Turn pets on. Yo! That looks sick. It's a dark blue egg. The ultimate myth bust. That looks insane. Actually. Okay. Now... Finally time to level this thing up for a bit. Let's see. Get this equipment on. Oh, apparently I didn't need the ruby either. So we'll just chuck that back. And now what we can do is reset our heart of the mountain tree for mithril mining, because that's actually the best I think for without a pet item. Obviously I can't really one tap ghosts, I think with like a G drag with no perks. I did a little bit of mithril mining to level up the G-Drag, but it was so boring. <laughs> I'm also gonna try to do my daily XP table at least twice a day. It's really boring, but it's a lot of XP for the G-Drag, which is already 60. After this was Marina. So I participated in some fishing festivals, mostly for the Skyblock XP, but I did want a bit of money. First Great White. Okay, here we go. 312 magic find. No way! Absolutely nothing. Such a scam. Um... Okay, it was like one catch or something since the Great White and easy pets. Okay, we're at 99 sharks caught, so... Are we gonna get Skyblock XP right now? I didn't really read it because, you know, I'm fishing, but... Will we get Skyblock XP on our next shark? Okay. Yo! One Skyblock XP. Yay. Good thing about being in parties is you can loot share. Uh, nothing again though. Yo, okay, another great white. 38 minutes left until the festival ends. Let's do this. <laughs> no, why? Nothing again. Oh my God, nothing in three great white sharks. Okay, checking back with uh 20 minutes left. One tooth and that was loot shared and a fishing XP boost, which I just got. What? No! Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. No! Oh my god, rip 5 mil. 50% XP boost, gone. Ah, <sighs> this just sucks. The total loot I got from all of the fishing festivals, six great white shark teeth, and one epic megalodon pet. So, a nice 15 mil, I guess. Actually, 16.2. It was safe to say that the fishing festivals basically made me no money. But you know what did make me money? Obsidian mining, which I had casually been doing in the background to level up my golden dragon pet. So, if you look at my sacks right now, I have a tiny bit of obsidian, and obsidian prices are extremely high, so we're just gonna sell it. They were a bit higher last night, but I can't be bothered to keep all of this obsidian, especially since someone just made a video on it. I'm scared that uh, I'm gonna lose all my money, so... I have 15,576 obsidian. So I've just been farming and I'm about to get a gold in cocoa beans, which is a unique metal and I can get another farming level. Okay, the farming contest ended, but I'm also really close to leveling up a cocoa bean milestone and that can get me garden level 12. There we go. 
garden level 12, some cool stuff, and skyblock XP. Now, if we go here, boom, farming 58. Ooh, a 1 million coin drop. One more level, guys. I'm really enjoying ghost grinding now. I don't know why, it's just much more fun when you get a lot of profit. Okay, I don't think I recorded me leveling it up to level 100. 102 and 103, but I've just been ghost grinding for a while, and now it's a level 104 golden dragon. So, let us check the profits we made from ghost grinding. They actually implemented this dwarven sack, which has all of the stuff for ghost grinding in it. This makes things a lot easier. I'm predicting we made 85 mil, and by the way, my G-Jag is almost level 106 already. So, Voltas, that is a lot of Volta. Plasma? Also a lot of plasma. Actually, I don't think this is all from this one ghost grinding session. I probably just had some in my sack, but whatever. The sorrows I definitely know were only from this session. Let's see how much this is. 120 mil? 100 mil alone from the sorrows. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell it right now because a uh, ton of people will be doing ghosts during Jerry. 14 mil from Volta, nice. And 10 mil from plasma, <laughs> dang. Now, since this video was created over one month, I also did a lot of other videos, which I made a playlist of, so you can just watch all of them right now. 